In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use radio buttons with your FME signature link templates. So let's jump into the uh, template section and we'll go to our order place agreement and you can see here I've added a couple of tabs for uh, radio groups for uh, recipient 1 and recipient 2. Uh, so let's look at the uh, recipient 1 radio group tab settings and uh, we can see here we've just simply given this a name called shirt size selection and we've added uh, uh, two options, one for large, one for medium, and we've made uh, the options required so the user has to uh, make a selection for this. And we've also have support for the uh, autoplay settings just like we do for other tab types. Uh, so it's once again it's just a case of entering your anchor string that's going to appear on the document and any offsets and choosing the um, anchor units, uh, measurement units. Uh, so we've done that for for the large and I've done that for the medium. Uh, if you wanted to add, add another option, it's just a case of clicking the Add Option button, uh, giving it a value. So this next one could be small, for example. Uh, you'd make that true and once again I'd enter my uh, auto place settings. So I'll just uh, delete that option so we don't need it for this demonstration. And we'll close that out. Uh, and Radar Group for Recipient 2 is, is basically the same settings with just uh, different auto place options. So let's go and create a uh, new request for this template and uh, this has got two recipients so I'll just go and add a couple of recipients here. We'll add Joe and we'll add Reese. Okay so we're ready to go so I'll click send request and that's going to uh, authenticate with DocuSign and send off that request. So that was successful. So let's have a look and see how this uh, looks for the recipient. Um, just before we, we go there I'll just quickly jump into layout mode and show you the layout. So if we go to the uh, custom agreement order place PDF layout uh, you can see I've got my um, radio button options I want to appear here, uh, large and medium and uh, if we select these hidden text objects there and just make them red so we can see them, uh, you can see there's my hidden anchor strings so the RBL1 for large and the RBM1 for medium. So let's jump out of that uh, we'll just go back to my request layout and let's go and check my email. I saw that email come through and we will uh, review the document and this is where we can see how it all looks for the signer. So uh, we will allow that. Uh, click continue. So you can see here I've got my, my name and now I'm getting into my um, shirt size selection. So I've got two options. They're in red because they're set to be required and I can choose one. If I click medium that unselects large and so on, just like radio buttons work in FileMaker in many ways. And um, once I made my selection, I can just click finish and uh, that will send it off. And um, you are able to get those uh, uh, selections that the recipient makes um, back in FileMaker. So if we just jump back to here, if I was to pull down the completed form data, uh, you would see that uh, for Joe Simpson, uh, they chose large. So if you need to get that option back into FileMaker, uh, you certainly can. So that's how easy it is to add radio buttons to your FME signature link templates.